Well, right now we're going to take you to the Korean Peninsula where a defiant North Korea is fueling up a rocket for what it calls a planned satellite launch. A launch our country and others call a cover-up for testing a long-range missile. A missile that could someday carry a nuclear weapon, and that's the concern. Our next guest says whatever the North Koreans send up, the U.S. and its allies should consider blowing out of the sky. Michael Oslin is director of Japan Studies at the American Enterprise Institute, and he joins us now. So, Michael, that's pretty direct. Shoot it down. Why? Good morning, Jenna. Well, the truth is that they have uh, no right to any space activities under various U.N. resolutions. Uh, not only have they betrayed our trust, you know, they've, they've humiliated us and all the other countries that negotiated with them in good faith. Um, this is extremely destabilizing. Both South Korea and Japan are uh, worried. They've indicated they want to try to shoot this down. You know, if Mexico were shooting uh, ballistic missiles over our territory with unknown payloads, I don't think we'd stand still for it. And eventually there's going to be a mistake. This missile will go off course. It'll land on South Korean or Japanese territory. Uh, we could have a war on our hands if we don't show the North Koreans that they can't not only break their promises, but ratchet up tensions in the region. So let's talk about the consequences. Both good and bad as you see it if the United States is the aggress you know takes this aggressive stance to shoot down this missile slash satellite what do you think the realistic consequences of that action would be the truth is I don't think North Korea will do anything uh, the, the one thing this regime cares about especially with a new leader is survival uh, they would be humiliated, but it's clear that they're in the wrong. And they also know that if they escalated, if they caused a real war, you know, we'd be in Pyongyang in three days, and the end of the regime would be on them. So, you know, that's what the you say. Is, but if we do go into another country and you have 30,000 troops right there in the DMZ, the potential for casualty is there. So then the broader question is, is, is this a conflict worth dying for right now, to put our troops in harm's way at this moment for this purpose? Well, I don't think it would get to that point. The, the other way to look at it is, is how much more is North Korea bringing us towards war with these actions? And don't forget, it's not only the missile test. Uh, they're probably going to set off another nuclear test, which is, again, against U.N. resolutions and their own promises. Each year, they inch us closer and closer towards some type of action, whether they're bombing South Korean territory, sinking ships, or setting off missiles. So I don't think they're going to go to war over this. Uh, but I think what will happen is if we don't take a, a stand and show this new regime and the new leadership that they can't get away with, with simply doing what they want, one day we may find ourselves in a war because of their miscalculation. Why does it have to be us? Japan and South Korea both say if this missile veers into their territory, they're going to take it down. So what about if it's somebody else and not the United States? Does, how does that change things in your mind? And is that still a, a good thing, in your opinion, if another country does this? Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, first of all, South Korea and Japan are very close allies, and I think we should be supporting them. And when I say that, that we should take some action, it's in concert with them, and maybe that's in a supporting role on the end of the U.S. Maybe they would request our, our ultimate help in shooting this down. Uh, but we should be standing by our allies. We should be showing them uh, that they don't face this threat alone, and a threat that's not going away but is only getting worse. So whether uh, Japan does it or South Korea does it, uh, I think we should be there. The truth is it's going to be difficult to do. They may not have the technical expertise to do it alone, but in conjunction with us, when we act in a united front, then I think the possibility for actually reaching some type of peaceful agreement with North Korea gets much higher than it is today. Michael, we look forward to having you back. It's something we're going to be watching, yeah. obviously, over the next 24, 48, 72 hours into the future about where this uh, when this missile launch slash satellite uh, goes into the air. Michael, thank you so much. Nice to have you again.